well, when I started seriously painting, that was probably 22, 23. I mean, I had been painting in high school as well, but uh, I eventually picked up painting again later on. Well, mainly I painted for therapeutic reasons. You know, I always had an interest in it, but uh, I didn't have the patience for it for a while. At a certain point, I don't know, I was feeling depressed and I needed something, so I started painting and I actually developed a, a method for it that seemed to work. and. You know, in high school I did have a lot of support and, you know, uh, inspiration from my art teachers, especially uh, Pete Palumbo and Joe Sinto really helped me out, helped me find a passion in art. They still continue to support me in what I do. So when you paint, how does it make you feel? What feelings come up when you're painting? How does it help you? Well, it just, it... I guess it sort of frees my mind, gave me a release and a way to express myself and what I was feeling. And what do you like to paint most? I basically I'll paint anything that either I visualize in my head or that maybe if I see something that I find to be visually appealing to me, you know, I might try to paint it. So yeah, it depends. I'll paint a wide variety of things depending on how I'm feeling or what I'm seeing. Probably portraits. I, I seem more drawn to the portraits. I'm not too good with uh, landscapes. I seem to have more of a skill for people. Uh, facial expressions, I guess. Um, you know, I'm drawn to certain facial expressions, you know, they convey a lot about a person and what they're dealing with or, you know, stuff like that. Sometimes, especially if I'm working on like a self-portrait or something, I'll try to convey how I'm feeling at a particular moment. It was around Valentine's Day and I don't know, I was feeling very lonely and I might have been a bit heartbroken at the time. So I, you know, I sort of wanted to express that, um, wanted to make it a bit dark. Uh, so this is what I came up with. Um, genuinely, uh, you know, typically positive. Uh, a lot of people say that my work is very dark for their taste, though. But they, they still, they admire the work. You know, a, an artist friend of mine gave me some good feedback at one point when, you know, I wasn't too experienced yet, you know, and told me to sort of add more paint to the canvas. When I started out, it was very thin. Since then, I took his advice, and it seems to be working. Okay. And some of your paintings are of shows and movies that you've watched. Would you like to explain which ones inspired you the most? Um, I don't know. It's Twin Peaks was a big inspiration. Um, you know, David Lynch, he had a lot of really good, uh, especially when he was directing, there were a lot of really good uh, screenshots that I was drawn to. Um, I did one painting of Bates Motel. There was one scene that I really, really liked that I felt like when I saw it, I felt like I just had to paint it. This was a uh, screenshot from one of my favorite TV series, uh, Twin Peaks. Um, it was uh, Dale Cooper and the killer Bob uh, when they were in the Black Lodge. and. Uh, I found the image very striking, so I just got the desire to paint it. And uh, this is uh, oil on canvas. 
Um, Self-taught for the most part, you know, especially with oils and acrylics. I didn't go to college for painting. I took some drawing and painting courses in high school. We didn't use acrylics. I don't. Or we might have used acrylics, but not oils. So I didn't have too much experience when I went on my own. And what were some obstacles for you when it came to painting? What was the easiest thing that you like picked up on? What was the hardest besides patience? Well, it was a lot of it had to do with, especially with the oils, with the mixing. Um, it's a very, uh, I don't know, it's a different process than when you're working with other types of paints as far as mixing. Um, also acrylics, you know, it's, you have to sort of learn the way, the ways of the paint and, you know, how much to apply and, and with the acrylics, one thing that I found difficult was it's sort of a time constraint because when you put the paint on your palette, you only have a certain amount of time before the paint dries on the palette. So that's, you know, one thing that I had to learn to deal with. That's, that's a tough question because I really don't keep track of how long it takes me to finish a painting and sometimes I'll work on it for you know a while and then I'll just I'll sort of shelve it and then I'll go back to it sometimes years later and I'll continue working on it so it's very difficult for me to say you know the longest amount of time it's taken what other hobbies do you have you know in my in the time when I'm not painting, I'm usually reading or, you know, I play and record music, but uh, I'm very into my Irish heritage, so I read a lot of Irish history and I play uh, an instrument called the Bowron, which is like an Irish drum. Um, I don't know. Um, I just, I don't know, it was reading, reading, uh, I just started reading certain books some years back and became very interested in, you know, their struggles and throughout history and I don't know, I just, and I got into the Irish language and I'm actually taking classes uh, to learn the language. Um, Well, the formal hello is uh, rich, which basically literally means, you know, God to you. That's like the formal greeting. How do you say goodbye? You could say slon, which is basically goodbye. Or, you know, has to do with health or whatever, but it's, uh, you know, the typical goodbye. Um, how long have you been taking those classes? Um, probably six years. What's your favorite thing about yourself? I don't know. Um, I guess just the, the painting. I'm, you know, I'm blessed that I'm able to do it, you know, and I guess that's the, you know, and of course my friends and family I'm very thankful that they're there to back me up and support me, but um, yeah. Okay.